Good morning. How are we? We okay? We happy and smiley and ready to go? I hope so. Usual questions, aren't it? Are you always happy and smiley? Gotta be happy and smiley. You gotta love what we do. Right, so. Just thinking of moving the camera back a little bit. We'll be alright. Morning, Jess! So we've got a wait session for today. This one's gonna be a challenge. This one's gonna be tough. Uh, I've written it, I've planned it, I've looked at it, I wondered what the hell I'm thinking of. Good morning guys, who else have we got in? Lisa's here, Jess is here, Julie's here, Judith's here. Hey, the gang's all here. Nice. So, Friday morning weights. AMRAP accumulators. Okay. This has got seven rounds. Seven rounds. The way this works, we're going to start with two exercises. We'll do that for two minutes. Next round, we're going to do three exercises for three minutes. And then we do four exercises for four minutes. And I know I said there's seven rounds, but if you start on two, that means you get to eight exercises for eight minutes. <laughs> you feel like the odd one out? Well, yes, you are odd. Sorry, should I not point that out? So, ladies, grab your weights. Actually, leave them on the side for a minute. Let's get warmed up. Let's start with moving. Usual movements for warming up. Swing your arms through. Today, the magic number is six. Six reps of each exercise. I don't know why six. Could go for seven. Everything's all sixes and sevens. One arm up, one arm down. Six should be just enough to get the muscle to work before we change off and do something else. The only muscle that really isn't getting a load of work through this one, let's take your arm side to side, is actually the chest, the one that we're loosening off right now. Because to do a lot of chest work, basically it means we've got to lie down, and then we've got to get back up, and then we've got to lie down, and then we've got to get back up. So we're going to bail on that one today. It's like we'll make up for it next week. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'll fit it in somewhere. Give me a little bit of a twist, a little bit of a turn, nice and steady, keep it controlled. Whee! Oops. For those of you that are counting calories for what you do with your exercise, I can't be bothered anymore. Um, you're probably going to burn, like, I don't know, three, four, maybe five calories doing this workout, it's fine. But then you'll burn a shed load more when you finish, which would be nice. All right, reach it down towards your toes. Toe touches are always good. I'm gonna read these comments scrolling through. You'll just use your middle name. Don't know what that is. Glenn, Dave, Bob, Tark of the Otter, I haven't got a bloody clue. Where did that come from? <coughs> Weird. Little bend in the knee, tip forward, give me two more. And then let's squat from here, let's go. So sit into that movement, start to wake everything up a little bit. I'm sure my legs haven't recovered from Monday's leg session yet. I still feel a bit weird, a bit rotty. If you haven't done Monday's leg session, the legs and wrap, you might want to go and get on with it. Not right now, obviously, because you're here doing this one. Well worth a try. Give me two more, and then we'll finish loosening things out. Just gonna swing through the hip, through the leg. Whee! Just roll it through nice and easy. And then let's change, let's go for the other side. Let your arms move so your shoulders are warm and loose and ready to go. Bam, bam. 
and bring it down. Okay, so our first round. First round, two exercises. Is what we're we doing. Bicep curl against side raise. Okay. So we've got bicep curl and side raise. Six reps each, as many times as you can. Round and round and round and round and round we go. Ready? Three. Two. Come on. One. Let's go. So we've got six bicep curl. All the way up, all the way down, and then for your side raise, bring your elbows up to shoulder height. Nice steady movement, six of each, over and over again. Your challenge, if you want to do it, is every time you go round these, you add an extra rep. So you do six first time, then you do sevens, then you do eights. If you feel like it. If you don't have to, then it could be fun. Mm -hmm. Halfway, one minute to go. So there's going to be a lot of bicep work, a lot of side raise from the side of the shoulder today. Well, that's all right. Muscles we haven't really picked on much this week. Thirty seconds to go. Come on. All the time, try to keep your shoulders down, so we're not bouncing them up and down. We just pull the arms out to the side. 12 seconds. Two, one, and breathe. All right, <clears throat> 30 seconds rest. Round two, bicep curl, side raise, shoulder press. So we have the shoulder press on the top. Still six reps of each. Or you could do sixes and sevens and eights and nines, your choice. Three minutes for three exercises, as many times as you can, round them all. Let's go. So what should we talk about today? Come on. We could use this as one of those educational bits, can we? With that shoulder press, take one foot forward if you want. And keep the weights apart at the top. Have you got any burning questions that you really want me to answer while we're doing all of this workout? You get your 30 second gap to write your questions. And then I can answer them. Hopefully without sounding too preachy. But you know what I'm like when I get going. One minute gone. <laughs> See, Lisa knows. Here comes the Friday sermon. Yeah. Simon's sermon of the day. And it's not those wonderful ones, like, you know. If you eat a biscuit and three people watch you, you only consume a quarter of the calories. Because it gets divided by the people that watch you. If only life was that easy. Come on, we're halfway. Or if you eat food in the dark, it doesn't matter because you can't see the food properly, so you can't see the calories. So then they don't count. Oh, 
What's the other one I've heard recently? Out of date food has no calories in it because they all die on that day. One minute to go. Yeah, that one's rubbish as well. So still pick it up, still focus on lifting your elbows to the side. When you do that sideways, weights apart at the top when you do your shoulder press. Just over 30 seconds to go. Whee! Smile, come on. So start thinking of what you want to write in that 30 second gap as the questions for me to deal with. Get ready. Two, one, 30 second rest. Start typing. Let me know you are. Let me know your questions. Let me know what's concerning you, what you want to know about. Round four, when we get four minutes. It's bicep curl, side raise, shoulder press, tricep extension, six of each, round and round. Same as you've done already, if you want to make it six, seven, eight, nine, you add a rep every set. Do it, challenge yourself. We start, three, two, one, let's go. So bicep curl, side raise, shoulder press, tricep extensions. Any questions? Ideally not about what we're doing. Just stuff you want to know about. Arr! So after your shoulder presses, tricep extensions, elbows point to the ceiling, weight comes down behind you. Keep moving, come on. How are you feeling? You okay? Arr Arms close to your head when you do those extensions. So it's a lot of arm work so far, yeah? It's okay, we're getting to legs later on. Bosh, come on, we can do it. Halfway. There it is, that's the halfway mark. Two minutes gone, two minutes to go. these, the more your bicep and the sides of your shoulder are going to get tired, so they won't be able to help out as much with the exercises that are coming up. question for you. Are we having Christmas Day off? And it's not as stupid a question as it sounds, because you might still want to exercise and do something for half an hour on your own. Have a bit of freedom. Get away from the family, have a bit of time for you, make space for all your Christmas dinner. Because that's four weeks today. Five weeks today is 2021. Not that I'm counting.
Just over 30 seconds to go. You're starting to warm up a bit now. Twelve seconds. Two. One. No. We're not training on Christmas Day. Oh, okay. This is a no. Am I gonna dress like an elf if you do? No, I'm gonna be a weird guy with a grey beard. Like the other 364 days a year. Okay. Round five. Curl, side range, shoulder press, tricep extensions, and then squats. All right, let's go. You love Lisa's suggestion. I'm gonna dress like a naughty elf. Ah, <laughs> oh, now the comments start coming in. Standard. Boxing day? Yeah, we could do. Oh, you are training Christmas day. See, now Julie, that is dedication. Gotta love your commitment. I've done it in the past. I've done home workouts on Christmas Day. And when I put it on Facebook, I got slated. What the hell are you doing? Have a day off. No. I know I'm only online with you guys five days a week. Sometimes four if I'm feeling a bit ropey. But I typically train seven days a week. And I think having a day off would freak me out. Even if it's, even if I go to train Christmas night, which is what I've done in the past, to be fair. Back in the day when I had a treadmill, I'm going to run for about an hour. And then did some other stuff. Come on, what have we got? We've got three minutes to go out of the five. Get those elbows up, shoulder height, try not to bounce too much through the movement. Nice big movement through the tricep. And then sit low on the squats. that weight by your chest, so it holds you upright, makes you work a little bit more. Two minutes to go. Pull those hands as far apart as you can when doing your side raise, really get the side of the shoulder to work. Warming up yet? How are you finding it so far? So it's a lot of repetition. 
it can get a little bit boring at times, I will give you that one, when you think I've got to go again, and again, and again, but the, cha the challenge is really, when you get tired, tell your brain to shut up and keep going, you're not tired yet, this is all about overload, just keeping things going, Within the last 30 seconds. Last 10. Thirty second rest. Done that one, done that one, done that one, done that one. So now after squats, we're gonna add pair this. So it's curls, side raise, shoulder press, tricep, squat, and then a deadlift. Six of each. If you want to add on more every time, like we've always done, like we said already, back on, feel free. Three, two. One, curls to begin, let's go. Try not to swing that weight. Get the arms out nice and straight to the bottom. But control it all the way. Those elbows pointing up high for your tricep extensions. Then you've got squats. And after your squats, you add on deadlift. Little bend in the knee, you push your bum back. Keep your back straight, your chest lifted. And then we go around again. One minute gone, five minutes to go on this round. Keep moving. We've got loads of time, we can get plenty of rounds back in. More sets, more work, more calories burned, not just now, but when you finish. Think of what we've talked about in previous weeks. We make the muscles work more. We get everything to tighten up. It burns calories even when you're not working out. Yep, no days off. No days off. So the question now then, if we're not having a day off, are we doing it live? Or do you want me to record it for you? Catch up when you're ready. Three minutes to go, we're halfway. The biggest challenge in this workout is keeping your mind focused to keep doing the same stuff 
over and over again. And now we start to move that blood up through the body, then down into the lower body. So it becomes more of a fat burning session through the workout as well. Arr! Two minutes, loads of time. Keep it going. I'm noticing one thing though. You're commenting about training at Christmas. But there's no questions coming. About Sai, how does this work? Why do we do this? Why do we do that? How would you do something else? What do you think of something? Or is it because you know? Don't ask me what I think about stuff. One minute to go! So keep your knees bent for that deadlift. Forty seconds. Come on, girls, we can do it. Judith, you okay? Seconds. Arr. Arr. Thirty seconds rest. How are we feeling? Okay. Next round. Round six. Seven movements. Bicep curl. Side raise. Shoulder press. Tricep extensions. Squats. Deadlift. And then we add on row and kick back combined. Start with a curl. Go! So you get your curls. <laughs> your arms are dead. Okay. Next one. Qu discuss. Fasted cardio, yes or no? It's a good question. A lot of people do fasted cardio. If you're not sure what that is, it's basically training on an empty stomach. Thinking that, well, if I train on an empty stomach, I'm not gonna, well, I won't have anything in my tummy to use. I'm just gonna burn fat that I've got stored. It's a good theory. However, it depends which research you go through and you believe as to whether it's any good for you. Come on, keep moving. We've got one minute down and five minutes to go. So, some of the research, remember the last one is roll, kick back, down, down, up, push, back, down. If you read around people like Lane and Norton, you'll say, plastic cardio works. For some people, not for others. It does depend on your general kind of body makeup. But the one I always believe is a gentleman called Brad Schoenfeld, PhD. He is the researcher's researcher. He says it. He's right. Top percent. And his best answer for this question is that faster cardio works best 
once you've had about 50 grams of carbs. Or in a simple version, no, faster cardio doesn't work for fat burning. The reason being, your body needs carbohydrates to fuel your metabolism. So, if you were to take your car out for a long drive without putting any fuel in it, you think it's going to go really far? No? You tell me that. Same for the body. Give it a little bit of something. Give it a banana. A little bit of oats. Something simple. About half hour before you work out. All it does is that helps to switch everything on. It gives the fuel to the metabolism so that it can do more. Yeah? You will burn more calories. You will generally stay in a better calorie burning, fat burning, healthy state more or longer if you do your first workout or your or generally your workout in the morning after eating. Fasted cardio can work for some people, just the way their body is built. But you usually find their fasted cardio is at a lower intensity, low intensity, steady state, less training. Now, I know people who've done that kind of training consistently, daily, just to help tighten the body up a bit. Three minutes to go, people. And they do it just to keep everything going, just to give them that little bit of a sweat first thing in the morning. But you'll find that's normally based around doing another workout later in the day, which is a bit more intense. You got something like this, just keeping moving for half an hour. Although typically they'd be going heavier, resting a little bit more. So in my opinion, fasting cardio, don't do it. Have something to eat before you train. Fuel your workout, fuel your performance long term. Generally with eating, with your nutrition, you fuel for long term results, not short term performance. And you will get more long term results doing your workout with something in your tummy. There you go, Lisa, another quote you can turn into a pretty picture. Eat for long-term results, not short-term benefits. You slack off if you haven't eaten first. Yeah, because your body gets tired, because it doesn't know where to pull energy from. Even down to simple things. Like carbohydrates get converted into glycogen and glucagon. They're the fuel sources for the brain. If you haven't got anything in your body going in, new carbs going in, your brain starts slowing down. <clears throat> Tells you you're tired. Tells you to rest. So you can conserve some energy for doing stuff later on. Woo. 20 seconds. <coughs> Come on. Ladies, 
Ladies and gentlemen, and those of you yet to decide what you are, we've got one round to go. One round to go. Curl, side raise, shoulder press, tricep, squat, deadlift, bent over row into kickbacks. Finish it off with a bent over side raise. Let me do side raise standing up, just leaning forwards to get the back of your shoulder working. Three, two, let's do it. Curls to start. After your curls, side raise. Joe Wicks, discuss, lovely guy, I'm sure. Just don't like his hair. I'll be brutally honest, I don't know a lot about the guy. So I can't give you an opinion if I haven't got anything to base it on. How's that for the get, of course? Come on, next question. And I hope you're still doing your rest of your workout while you're typing. Anybody else going to ask questions? Other than Lisa, whatever their middle name is. <coughs> so after your deadlift, roll and kickbacks. Down. And then you finish these with a bent over side raise. Still lean your forwards. Put your hands apart. When you're trying to touch your elbows together behind you. So we use the back of the shoulder a little bit more than the upper back. Keep going, keep going. Sit low for that squat. If it helps, take your feet wider so you can go lower. Then knees bent, tip from the hip into your deadlift. And it's into that row and kick back at the top. And it's that bent over raise. Let me start again. Five minutes to go. So this is the big set. The eight minute round. To see how much you can do. Keep moving, come on. Come on, keep going, keep going. Right to the end. Roll, kick back, and down. Upper arm stays next to your body for that kickback. And then it's that bent over raise. Pull your hands apart. Come on, we're over halfway through.
Keep it going, come on. Keep moving, guys. Think about your technique. We've worked on it quite a bit in the last few weeks. Come on, we can do this. We've got two and a half minutes to the end. Easy. Still get those elbows up, shoulder height on your side raise. Over a minute. We can do this. At least one more time, do it all. Woo. Come on, pick it up. A little bit quicker. Work a little bit harder. Right to the end. We are done. Woo. <coughs> well done, guys. Well done. How you feeling? a little bit warm or just me two one round of applause so that was whole body weights and wrap accumulators we've done bicep tricep round your shoulders you've done your back front and back of your legs to make your glutes a bit love that one that's alright it's focused it's driven it just gets stuff done it's the way to work. Now I got a little bit warm. All right, just swing your arms through. Arr. As they come up in the front, let your arm come up and then swing it back nice and straight behind you. And then bring your hands around to the back of your hips. Squeeze your elbows in behind you. Bum, 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 bum. Squeeze your elbows in. Get a stretch off the chest and the shoulders, especially the shoulder. Glad you enjoyed it, Julie. Oh, who's this? Jess is here. 
really enjoy that. Perfect. Let's take one arm across. Pull the arm across the body. Shoulders down. Pull from the wrist to the forearm. Don't push on the elbow. Let it stretch. Round the, round the shoulder. A little bit for the upper back. And then chain. Just go the other way. Again, shoulder down, away from your jaw. So today we've learned fasted cardio is better once you've eaten something. Or training on an empty stomach works better once you've eaten something. To really kind of throw it into context. And we're going to do a workout on Christmas Day. Let's take one hand behind you, push your arm back, bit of a stretch here. How we do Christmas Day, live or video, is yet to be decided. But there will be a workout, a Christmas workout. Bring it down, change it over, other side. Get a stretch off the tricep. And then bring it down. Stand on one leg, swing the other leg back and forth. Loosen up that hip. Let it go back, let it go forward. Big movement each way. And then hold it up in front of you. Pick it up, hold it up high. Hold that knee up. Stretch the back of the hip through the glutes. And then bring it down, take that foot up behind you, hold your ankle, not your toes. Keep your knees together. A little bend in the knee for the leg you stood on, just a little one. Hold it, stretch the front of the thigh. Two, one, that'll do. Let's change sides, swing the other one through. Well, and I will dress as an L. I don't remember agreeing to that one. I'll have to play the video back and find it. Hold on the up in front. I'm not going to dress up as an owl. He says. Maybe. Bring it down, take that foot up and back behind. They want me to dress as an elf in work as well. The naughty elf. The mischievous elf. I'm going to be the one that causes all the trouble. Bring it down. Shake your legs loose. Ladies, gentlemen. A fairy. What, are you calling me a fairy? Or are you asking if I'm going to dress as one? Either way, big. Right, so... Shake everything loose, give yourself a round of applause folks. I will see you tomorrow morning for whatever's on the timetable. I can't remember. I slept since I wrote it and I didn't bother to read it before I came on and did this one today. So I'll see you in the morning. Go off, refuel, eat, drink, be Mary or anybody else you want to be. Have fun and I'll see you in the morning. Bye bye.